we just pre-med it and did some induction for general anesthesia. We're doing a fill castration today. Um, once we do the pre-medication and then we do the induction, as you can see, Damon is holding the head up. Um, and by holding the head up, the patient is balancing himself slowly and then going slowly downward. Um, and after that, the patient is going to be on the floor and then we're going to do the field castration, you know, with calmness and the floor slowly. Now we're going to block the testicles to block the pain after we prepped it. It also makes the procedure a little bit easier because it makes them a little bit bigger. One is blocked, now let's block the other one. Second one is blocked. Now I clean it really, really good, and then I start the procedure. Field castrations are a very common procedure that, pay, that owners do. Um, the reason why we castrate is mainly behavior issues. Um, if the patient is very wild at home, is very aggressive, that with castration we can calm them down and then the earlier we do it the better because there's less communications on surgery of uh, the older the horse or the equine is or the donkey etc the equid the older the equid is the more time we have to put that emasculator there the reason why we put it there and we leave it there is so that it does the whole crush correctly and so that the vessels whenever we let it go they don't start bleeding um, so the older the patient is, ideally, the more time we would have to put a emasculator on. And that just takes more time of being in surgery, doing more anesthesia. And so we don't want that. So ideally, we would do them like younger. So around two up to four years old. Um, so yeah, this one is it was more for behavior issues. And it's definitely kind of when those testosterone level decrease is definitely going to calm them down much, much more.
with donkeys, their vessels are a little bit bigger. So on this one, it started bleeding a little bit and just to be safe, since he's gonna be here all afternoon, um, I placed 10 gauzes. I literally counted them, there was 10. I placed them in there with some hemostats and then we'll remove them in the afternoon before he goes home. We'll make sure that there's no bleeding, which is one of the risk of castrations. You can have some bleeding, you can have um, edema, you can have uh, the, cord, the cirrhosis, which is due to the cord. Um, you can have a couple of things, um, but with donkeys, mainly what you can see is bleeding. Therefore, I place those gauzes just to be safe. Um, it's going to hold that bleeding for a couple of hours, then I'll remove it and then I'll see if there's no more bleeding, then perfect. Um, and then, you know, it's just a safety measure for us to know that, that everything went good.